All right, guys. As you can see, I moved that bracket, or my welder moved that bracket down to that one. And what we're doing, the point of it all, is to get it all symmetrically correct. Because with these dampers, I don't wish to be controversial, but it all seems to work against itself how it was. And the front end's so stiff on these. And what this done is we moved that bracket down. And uh, look, as you can see, it's all symmetrical now. When I say it's symmetrical, it's, it's a square. You got that nearly parallel to that one. Where in the old place, it was a... Um, Steel Weasel gave me the uh, inspiration for this. He moved one down on a schemati. And you could see just from the filming he did that um, it makes the front end much more responsive and not so stiff because it's not working against itself. You look at that Lambretta outboard disc brakes and they're always square. Where this was there before, this end was there. So it's like at that angle. So for me, it made the front end very, very stiff. So what we did is, my brother-in-law cut a new bracket. He's a top, top welder and he welded it all on, moved it down. And the beauty of it is, I still got the old bracket if it didn't work and uh, also my buddy Simon Woods gave me the inspiration for this as well and I think he's done a few hundred miles I don't know I've done 60 80 miles with it like this tops took it out the other day I've taken it out a couple of times but left the old bracket in place just in case and um, what we had to do is make another bracket lower down because you couldn't bolt it to the plate and uh, as you can see, I've got some sleeving on my brake cable because the thing, the outer sheath got very, very hot. It was when we were welding, it didn't get a good earth for whatever reason. And the bloody thing started melting, so I've just put a sleeve on that. Brake works absolutely fine. Uh, I think it just needs a final bleed, but it's okay. So what we did is he formulated that bottom bracket. So the whole thing sits right. I don't know why, but as it was before, and I know a couple of other lads, this top bolt fell out and the whole thing was dragging along the front wheel. Thank God I was just, it happened to me as well. And uh, I was only going from mine to my mother-in-law's. So could have been much, much worse. So what I've done is while I've got this all, out, I'm just going around, tightening up all the, bolts on the on the front wheel to check the back wheel I've, again i've heard of guys whose uh things are falling out you really got to keep an eye on this stuff it is a machine it is a scooter and uh things do work loose so i've got all nylocks because I, I don't i prefer these to the standard nuts and bolts schemati fitted and uh it's all been okay, and I'll, I've got a little clip of it later on in the video where we just try the front end out, just 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 braking, and it's it's totally different, and it's it's good to ride. Might be worth spending some money on some decent aftermarket shock absorbers. It'll be interesting to see what a pair of really good shocks on this, the difference it'd make. It's just I don't want to shell out £300 and uh, not try it myself. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to put a little clip in. I mean, brother-in-law doing the welding. And I'll catch you later. I hope you like it. Not wishing to be controversial. I mean, the Scamardi original design, they know more than I do. But when it comes to this, my experience tells me, and I've seen so many anti-dives with this setup, but not with that as a, like a, that's a kind of shock absorber, I believe. You can't get it to move. I, I think someone, Simon was going to try it in a vice, but not sure how he got on. And he's done this exact setup and he rates it. And Steel, Weasel's and, uh, Steel Weasel 
has done the exact same setup. I think his, I think this bracket was just a little bit higher on his, but it just looks right and it works and it's it's made the front end so much better and um, maybe my headset bearings will last because they're not getting so much hard knocking on them now. So I like it. I hope you sort of see what you think and um, cheers. Thank you. Video to come at the end. back in nothing's fouling nothing's catching you do really need that bottom bracket to space it all up and get it symmetrical and when you put your nuts back in or your bolts back in just a little dab of loctite on them you know just just pop it in there and uh, bob's your uncle five minutes going around everything you know wheels nuts and bolts anything you can see just have a little nip on it see if that'll work see if that'll go a little bit tighter and also i pump my tires up beginning of the summer and they were 16 psi when i went to test them so keep an eye on your tire pressures boys and girls because make a hell of a difference hell of a difference 
I put 28 front, 32 rear. So uh, that works for me because I'm 18 stone. So I don't want to be bouncing about like I'm on a bloody space hopper. Anyway, there's the front end again. So formulate the bracket, moved it down. I think it was about 28 mil. Just copied the original bracket, left the original one in. And my brother-in-law, clever bugger, he made that beautiful little black bracket up. And uh, you just need a good welder, someone who knows what they're doing. If you can do it yourself, all well and good. Okay, boys and girls.